Hello, everyone. I'm glad to see you all here. So I'm a, my name is Etienne Loray. I'm an engineer at RethinkDB, but I'm not here to talk about that too much. I am here to talk about uh, the Haskell driver for RethinkDB, which I wrote before joining the company. Um, it was RethinkDB's first community driver. Um, it is now one of many other drivers um, available for RethinkDB. Um, but why choose Haskell out of all these other languages that are available? Um, Haskell is uh, one of my favorite languages because, well, personally, I like it for all the power it gives you in using and building abstractions, um, the strong static typing, which is useful for uh, finding bugs, refactoring, and also GHC, the glorious Haskell compiler, is a very good optimizing compiler that um, has good performance for threading, for I.O., and uh, has a great uh, runtime system. And uh, why RethinkDB? Uh, well, I like languages, I like Haskell. What I like about RethinkDB is a nice query language called Requel, which is powerful, composable, um, has many um, nice functional features that fit very well into ha Haskell. And also RethinkDB um, has always been a company that tried to find a balance between uh, nice functional list programming and pragmatic um, getting things to work, getting things to work fast. Um, uh, a few years ago, they announced that they were switching over to Lisp from C++. That was on April 1st. It was a little April Fool's, but um, it's always been a big part of the company. Um, setup. So um, let's jump right into things. If you want to use a Haskell driver, Cabal is the Haskell equivalent of pip or npm or gem. Um, Cabal install everything DB dash J to build things in parallel. Um, GHCI is the G Haskell REPL. I import here the driver and I set a few extensions that are mostly to get the queries to fit in the slides. They're not necessary. Here's the first query that I'm going to show you. Uh, connect to the database, host port, and then the query is dblist, which lists the databases available on my server. I have two databases here, test and muni. Um, if you want to follow along, I have these slides available online if you have a laptop. Um, so my muni database has a few tables here that I'm going to use for sample queries along the talk. First, the routes table has uh, all the routes, the bus routes, with IDs and display names. And the runs tables. The runs table contains the, a run is, uh, each route will have m usually two runs, one north and one south, or one in, one out. And uh, each run has a list of stops. And then the stops tables has the description of um, the stops, such as their location and their name. And you can see here that the location of a stop is a special point object. Uh, because RethinkDB has is a JSON document store, but it also stores geographical data that is represented differently. So the Haskell driver is very similar to the JavaScript driver in that most of the commands have exactly the same names, and uh, it can do queries asynchronously. And so if you follow the on RethinkDB.com the documentation for the JavaScript driver, uh, it's mostly applicable for the Haskell driver. But the syntax is very different in some cases. For example, this query here builds an object with a single field and then gets the value of that field. Uh, the bang operator is used for getting the value and the colon equals operator for building the object. Um, if you're familiar with Haskell, you'll be able to understand the type at the end there. So I'll be showing types throughout this talk and talking about them later in later slides. Um, but I'll be skipping them for some of these slides here at the beginning. Um, so here's the first query that um, uh, sums the number of stops in each run. So in Haskell, the dot operator chains from right to left instead of what you might be familiar in other languages, which is from left to right. So 
um, the data from the table runs is mapped over and then summed over. Um, well, in the JavaScript query, you see that the table is sent to a map and then to a run uh, other way. So if you want to use a, um, a direction you're more familiar with, I also added the hash operator, which is a common alias in Haskell for uh, chaining from left to right. And uh, this allows the query to look more familiar, familiar and similar to the has JavaScript one, except that dots are replaced with hashes. Um, other things that are interesting in this notation, um, the Haskell Lambda syntax uh, is a backslash followed by an the arguments followed by an arrow. And uh, I use here the bang operator, which, um, as I said earlier, is used for accessing a field. So this query access the stops field of the row and counts the number of elements, maps that over the table and does a sum. Um, so types, uh, of course, this is a Haskell talk. I have to talk about types. Uh, the types involved are uh, recall, which is a query that can be performed on a server. It's basically an AST, an abstract syntax tree. Um, uh, so this query that uh, gets the display name of the en route um, is uh, just that. It's a query that can be sent to the server with the run command by running it against uh, the server. Um, H is a handle, a connection to the server returned by the connect function. And we get, as a result, the name of the en route. Uh, another type is uh, expr, which is a type class in this case, which allows converting arbitrary objects into recall queries. And so uh, if you have a table, uh, a reference to a table, um, and you pass it to the get function, which gets a uh, row from a table, uh, it will automatically get converted into a recall object. And the query put together with hash will be of type recall. And many other things have a recall type, like uh, numbers, are automatically converted. Um, and the slash, the divided, the divide, the plus, all the math operators are um, overloaded or are overloaded. They're implemented for the recall type. Um, and so this query will count the routes and divide the count by two and add one. I was looking for an example. <laughs> this came up. Um, but other operators are not overloaded, such as comparison operators. And so um, you've got to use uh, a namespace, the R namespace, to compare different values on the server. Um, and once you run a query, the server will return back a da datum. Um, datum represents the type of objects that can be stored on the ResthinkDB server. Um, so it's mostly JSON plus geographic types, points, lines, and polygons, also binary strings and times for timestamps. And so the run command can return the datum type, but it can also automatically convert into convert the results into a stricter type or a different one. So it can convert them to string to arrays. In this case, I get I have a query that gets the display name of all the stops, and I return it first as a list of strings, next as a cursor. And as a cursor, uh, the results can be um, fetched incrementally, lazily, instead of all at once. And if you know the exact number of results returned, you can return them as a tuple. And for different types of queries, um, there are instances for other types, such as maps, which uh, a map is uh, the Haskell equivalent of a dictionary or hash in other language. Um, Optional arguments. Here's a query that uh, the circle function will build a polygon that represents an approximation of a circle around a given point. So this function here um, takes a second argument, which is the radius, 500. Um, to specify a unit in RethinkDB, you have to pass an optional argument. And Haskell does not do optional arguments, so I've added the x function, which wraps a function to be able to add an optional argument to it. And so here we specify that the radius is in meters, um, which allows us to run this example query where I it stores 
uh, the geographical location of this building, I hope, into a variable and finds all the stops that are included inside this a circle of 200 meters around this place and we get a list of two bus stops that are nearby. This is actually a feature specific to RethinkDB. Uh, these example are examples of aggregations. So group, um, group by um, to find the number of uh, runs for each route. So I explained earlier that uh, runs, routes usually have two runs in general, but some here, for example, route one has four runs. And uh, because RethinkDB is very uh, requel, the language to query RethinkDB is a very composable language, we can chain groups onto each other. And so if I group by the reduction of the previous query, I get uh, the number of routes that have a given number of runs. So I see that there are 76 routes that have two runs, which is the majority. And you can do more complicated groups, such as um, averaging the number of stops, which is this last example here. And you can see that uh, Route 10 has an average of 66 stops per run. Um, and you can do more complicated uh, reductions, such as getting the average, the sum, and the maximum in the same query. This is actually not supported natively by everything DB, so the Haskell driver kind of rewrites your query to get everything to be to run it. Um, this is basically the same query as, as the previous slide, but it does the average, the sum, and the maximum at the same time. And so how does it do it? It separates um, this, seri um, this aggregation into separate um, map and reduce steps. So it maps um, the count to a tuple of uh, the count and the number one, and then it sums both of them, and at the end divides to get the average, and it does the same thing for the sum and the max. And so um, this is a nice example of how uh, RethinkDB accept very composable queries, and uh, they can be split up and patched up together, and um, it does some pretty powerful stuff. So here's an uh, example of how to use Haskell Driver with other different um, projects. For, for example, this is how I imported the data for this, uh, these examples. I connected to the Proximal Bus Service, which returns Muni data as JSON, um, created table routes, and just used the HTTP command, which causes RethinkDB to directly fetch the JSON data and store it into my table. It inserted, so, 81 tables. And then I updated that table with another call on the API that got extra information from the server and replaced 81 of those documents. I did the same thing for the runs here. And for the stops, this query is a little more complicated. Um, this query iterates over all the runs fetches the list of stops for that run from the server, and then it will store those stops into the stops table. And afterwards, it will store the list of IDs of those stops into the runs table so that the list of stops for each run can be accessed from the runs table. And then, as I showed earlier with the point object, um, since JSON can only represents, represent doubles, it uses a latitude and latitude fields to represent the position of an object. And so I merge these into a location field, and I call the special point command to convert it into a point function. That um, comparison, such as uh, the ones used earlier for the circle and the stops, so that they work on this object. And uh, so I'm going to skip this. It's a bit complicated. Haskell has real nice libraries for uh, 
for creating maps. So this geodetics library will uh, project latitude and longitude data on a transverse Mercator projection, so it'll be a flat map. And uh, the diagrams library produces nice graphics like this one of uh, all the routes, and uh, this is produced by this code here. Um, so a little dense query, because uh, it wouldn't fit otherwise. Uh, it iterates over all the runs, uh, gets the route for that run, finds the background and foreground color, and then gets uh, the list of stops for that run and returns all that into a single result. And then I map over these, um, create uh, lines that can be used from the diagrams library and just draw them twice with different colors to produce this nice, um, actually, it's supposed to be San Francisco, but it looks like a big apple. Um, yep, other things that are available in the Haskell driver are nice benchmarks with the Criterion library for Haskell um, that gives very good reports on uh, how fast things are. The documentation generated by Haddock and uh, it's tested with DocTest. Um, it includes, I don't know if you can see, it includes types um, small description and examples of usage. Um, so yeah, that was a tour of uh, the Haskell driver. Um, are there any questions?